Chess mates are on me. It's definite the thing for me as sure as I can be, it's a strong love and yes. Although we haven't known each other very long, yeah, the feeling strong. Hi, my name is Vivian Jones, singing out of London, England, for decades. I want to say bless up to the world, enough love. A strong love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I started singing like, you know, from a youth, used to sing in the, the yard at home and grandma used to say, I hope you know your lesson like you know that song that you are sing. And it started from there and take place in a church, you know. Pastor said, that boy have a lovely voice. And it continued from there, you know, and I, mom and dad called me from Jamaica to England. And after school, you know, after school in, in England, well, it started in school, basically with the, the girls asking me to sing the latest song that was happening at the time. So sometimes they might come in and ask me to sing a Delroy tune or a Dennis Brown or a Gregory, you know how it go. And they used to gather around the school bench and we sing. And one of them recommended me to a, a producer, a producer by the name of Tony Ashfield. And we met them and I had some singing lesson with a, a, a great man called um, Terry Newman. He used to cut all the dub plates and all them things there. But at that time he was working as a part of the production team with Tony Ashfield. So anyway, you know, give me some singing lesson and them kind of rate me from the start still, you know. So from then on we start by joining groups, you know, we have our own youth bands and things like that. And started working from there and some of the local sound system and men them start here we, you know. And recognize the talent and bring me into the studio. And that's where it started, you know, we start record. Them time we were at about 1970. 75 them thing you know the group um, the first group was called um, Spartans and that group was consist of some top musicians out of England at the time well they, they, they went on to be top musicians musicians like um, Clifton Bigger Morrison um, Kushal Tony Phillips and Zungi bass player Henry played for Mistine Roots we were all in the same band at the time, you know. As it go along, things happen, man. Band change and all them kind of things. Good morning, how you doing? Good morning, hi. Good morning, how you doing? Good morning, hi. That tune went to number one for me in the UK as my first tune were released under the name Vivian Jones, you know. So that kind of even give the career a next big step, you know. I grew up in a, that field where I listen to a lot of um, different music, you know. So when we're talking about singers, me used to listen to the singers, um, all the great reggae singers from Jamaica. Jimmy Cliff, you know, Desmond Decker, come right through, Delroy Wilson, I'm a, one of my favorite singers that. So, and I learned a lot from Delroy. Um, from the soul side, it was all the great Sir Curtis Mayfield, um, um, Sam Cooke, you know, the Barry Whites and, you know, great vocalists. They're right from, um, clean vocal, clean singing, um, sing to the, 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 the end of the bar and your improvisation and um, your, your, your movements in, in, in the music itself, you know, them kind of thing. A man can use him vocal to make a simple rhythm. 
you know, so great. Me never look on it as a challenge because you what? Me love the thing so much. And you see, when you love that thing so much, sometimes you don't even think about food, you know? Because I remember in time when we used to wear us every night, right from, from Monday to Friday. And even Saturday, if it wasn't so well, boy, we had to dance and think we'd have dead again. You understand me? So it was just more the love of it and, 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 and you know, the energy where you get just to doing them things there. South Africa 2009, front of about 20 or thousand people, you know, a reggae festival in Cape Town. And a um, couple of years before that, I went there and I recorded some songs with a band over there called Azania Band. You know, and some of the songs was, you know, just talking about the apartheid system and coming out of it and things like that. And, well, while I was away, there was play that, that, those songs, some of those songs got released over there and it was playing a lot. So when I went on stage in South Africa for that performance, I didn't know that the people them know the songs. And when I started singing the songs, it's like um, they were singing louder than me. You understand me? And that feeling that you have so much people singing a song louder than you, you know, it's a great deal. I hear them say bad things about you. Funny they do the same thing to me. People will talk, 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 things that they don't know. Why, from all different angles, the music change, you understand? And basically, the biggest change we have in other music is that um, we as artists and producers, we are not able to really sell the music like how we used to sell the music. So therefore, it's harder for maintain the music, you know? Um, it's like you put out a, a, a whatever material you're going to put out. If you put out a CD right now, you know, I mean, you can't guarantee say you're going to sell that amount to even cover the production of what you did. So basically, you find enough man now to even put out a show. Because I'm tell him, first thing I think about him, I'm going to lose him money. Well, some of us, we still have to go on. It's what we do. And we have to keep doing it. Because if me decides I'm going to take up mechanic work now, my heart now going to feel good. You understand? So therefore, we look at it away and say, wherever angle the music change, we have to make the change and move with it. Because if you don't move with it, you're going to get left behind. I've had songs with Sylvia Teller, you know. Um, I've done songs with him, Jamaican DJ artists, in, you know, spectacular. One of the DJs I've just recorded a combination song with him, you know. Um, yeah, there's been more. One of my singers, Debbie Garden, I've done quite a few um, combination songs with her. I would say that um, I get a lot of respect from the Jamaican artist them, you know? And um, they've been giving me that respect for a long time now. Yeah, I would say there's a lot, a lot of artists I would have liked to do a song with them and work with them or something, you know? I wouldn't call a name and stick out one at the moment because there's quite a few, you know. The Jamaica music, you know, tends to be like from, well, when the, in the time of Lover's Rock, you know, there was a great difference between the sounds of recording music from England and music from Jamaica. Because at that time when Lover's Rock just started, it was a new thing wherein uh, some of the engineers and some of the producers never really know the thing like the man them in Jamaica. So you find that so when the man in Jamaica lick all certain tune and the way them sound, just because of the recording and the production, yeah man, it make a great difference. It was a great difference. And that was because, say, as I said, in England, we never really know the thing like Jamaica. You know, but over the years, we've caught up. We've had Jamaicans come in and, and we've had men here in England who learn the thing and, and can get the sound. So, you know, we're not that far apart when it comes to sound of today but yes those early recordings of lovers rock and thing are different from you know the sound of jamaica in reggae music there's lovers music suits music you know whatever music you understand 
So I don't really look upon it as say, well, boy, um, lovers, because so, lovers rock that is made in England is played in Jamaica also. So therefore, you know, I just love as music to me. I just see it that way. And I don't really think we can put a title upon it, you know? It's just a style. As anyone you ever told you that you're nice, you're nice. As anyone you ever hold you through the night, through the night. Then let me be the first, let me be the first one. I feel I've accomplished something right here in my life, my life. And uh, the way you smile, the way you look at me. And those eyes that shine so bright, I can only compare you with the Jamaican nights under the moonlight and the starlight so bright. Yeah, baby, let me say. As anyone ever told you that you're nice, you're nice, then let me be the first, let me be the first one.